Foxers, thank you for watching. In this week's video, I'm going to show you this elegant, formal, prom-inspired makeup, but you can use this for any formal event, even a wedding. It's an elegant white glitter eye with a double-winged eyeliner. This video is also a collab with my gorgeous and talented friend, Dina, who will also be doing a prom look. Go check her out. She's such a remarkable makeup artist and a total sweetheart. I'll have her links in the down bar. If you plan on looking your best and maybe being crowned prom queen this year, you'll definitely want to check out both our videos. Begin by applying a base. Using a white eyeshadow pencil like this jumbo pencil from NYX and Milk will bring out the best pigment for our white shadow later on. I'm also dragging the base up underneath the brow to hide any redness. Don't forget that if you guys want to get your hair looking voluminous and sexy and glamorous for prom, I have a really awesome coupon code for Bellamy Hair. I'll have all the information in the description box. This look is all about being princess-like, so I'm going into this L'Oreal palette and brushing the shimmery highlight color beneath the entire brow area. Then I'm taking this neutral brown shade and sweeping this into the crease. This will act as a base color. To deepen and define the crease, I'm going in with a bit of a darker shade of brown and sweeping that in starting around the outer crease area and working it inward. It's all about taking your time with blending so you don't get any harsh lines and there's a nice soft gradient of colors. If some of that brown shadow falls down onto your lid, don't worry. You can just apply a bit more of your white base. For my white shadow, I'm using this loose pigment from NYX Cosmetics that has a pearl finish. I'm going to begin packing this onto the lids, taking my time and ensuring I cover the entire area. For this look, it's best to work on the eyes first, just in case you get some fallout. Doesn't this pigment look mystical? With Wet n Wild's Cream Gel Liner, I'm going to create my double wing. It's not as hard as it looks. Use a small angled brush and take your time. I start with my outer wing, then begin working my way in, and building the line up to my preferred thickness. It's basically like creating a classic cat eye. The bottom wing is very simple. I'm basically just drawing a thin line and connecting it, and lining the lower lash line without overdoing it. Between my two wings, I'll be applying some of that white eyeshadow base, then packing in some of my pearl pigment. And with a tapered brush and that darker brown shadow I used in the crease, I'm going to smoke out my bottom line. Next, I'm taking a matte black shadow onto a short shader brush and smudging it out just a bit more. After curling my lashes, I'm going to coat them with mascara. And for falsies, I'm using these Glamour Lashes and Lacies. And I find that the easiest tool for applying falsies are just your basic tweezers. Once the glue dries, I'm going over the lash band with a liquid liner to ensure everything is blended together. Then I'm going to do some tight lining with a waterproof pencil. And my eyes tend to water around the outer corner, so to set my liner in place, I'm going to use a matte black shadow. So I actually got a little sidetrack here and I haven't applied my loose glitter yet, but I promise I'll get right back to it. For now, I'm just prepping my lips with lip balm so they aren't dry, and then I'm applying a primer to my clean, moisturized skin. This will help keep my makeup in place, and in my case, it'll help diminish these awful pores. And I'm also patting the primer beneath my eyes to hold my concealer in place later on. So as you can see, I have really bad skin, lots of breakouts around the chin and jawline, and also some scarring from those breakouts. Lots of people have this issue, so don't be ashamed. Using a green correcting concealer like the one from this Coastal Scents palette is going to be your best friend for canceling out redness. I can't believe it, but I actually found a drugstore foundation that agrees so beautifully with my skin. It's the Maybelline Dewy Finish in Sandy Beige, great for dry skin like mine. I'm going to buff it in with a flat top kabuki from Sigma, then go over that with my damp beauty blender to ensure a natural finish. This is a buildable foundation, so if you need more coverage, you can build it up quite easily. Honestly, I wish I had done more than one coat so I could have shown you guys. I certainly needed it to hide my bad skin, that's for sure. Because of the dewy finish, you can skip highlighting with this foundation. And before I do my concealer under my eyes, I'm going to pack on my loose glitter. I'm using a bondage adhesive from Urban Decay, but I believe Hard Candy has an adhesive that's really good as well. Then I'm going to spray my brush with MAC Fix Plus, but you can also spray your brush with water. Next, I'm dipping into my white loose glitter and packing it onto my lids over my white eyeshadow. This will make your eyes glisten like diamonds, and you know what they say, diamonds are a girl's best friend. Second like to her cat and her mom, of course. Tell me who that special friend is in your life. P.S. It's easier to do your eyeliner before you apply loose glitters, so my suggestion is pack on the glitter as a last step for the eyes, and always use a cosmetic glitter, not a craft store glitter. I'm applying my concealer to the T-zone and also along the bottom jawline to highlight the face. 
and of course I'll be applying it to my under eyes to disguise these embarrassing dark circles. Yuck. I'm using the same beauty sponge I used with my foundation. It'll actually help blend everything out. To set everything in place, I'm using a finishing powder from NYC. This will keep your makeup in place so you don't have to worry about creasing. You'll be camera ready. To contour the face, you'll want to keep it natural, and this one has a slight shimmer to it, so it's perfect for that elegant glow. A little tip, to contour your cheekbones, just suck in your face like a fishy face, and try not to drag the contour down too far. It's all about blending, blending, blending. Contour the sides of your temples and softly connect to your cheek contour. For an extra flush of color, you can do a slight smile and pat a little blush onto the apples of your cheeks. Be sure to go back over it with your foundation to make sure it's not too much blush. Remember, your eyes are the main focus, so keep everything else on your face subtle. To fill in my brows, I'm using an eyebrow powder from NYX and blending them out with a spoolie for a soft, natural finish. Then I'm going to line the lips with this lip liner from NYX in the color Peekaboo Neutral, then finishing up with this beautiful Wet n Wild lipstick in Think Pink. Alright, that's the finished look. This makeup would really complement a white or silver sequin gown, but you can honestly wear it with any colored dress. That's what's so wonderful about it is the versatility of the makeup. Let me know what you guys think. Thumbs up and share this video and subscribe to my channel so you never miss out on all the fun. Check out my other content and I'll see you guys next Thursday. Until then, stay foxy.